Hello guys, this is Vaish. So the Plums episode uh, for today, February 3, you know, it's Friday and we'll do science and tech for today. Please see to it that you're watching all episodes. And uh, before that, uh, first important thing is the UPSC notification for 2023 is out. And uh, first day and all, many students were uh, finding it difficult to get the PDF. Okay, even though in Telegram and WhatsApp and all people keep sharing the PDF, they were not aware of the new process of one-time registration, which UPSC has started. That's a good initiative also. So that uh, I have explained here in this video. You can go and see in our, I think, uh, two, three videos old only. So you can go and see in my uh, first page itself in my uh, channel. Okay, and then uh, the notification, how to apply, what is it, the syllabus and you thing in foundation we have already done but still the 23 specific if anything is there that have been explained in this video and the YCIS foundation okay so foundation English and Hindi you can simply type YCIS foundation in YouTube and you will get this so if you are 2024 25 and all you may not know the proper processes and how to study and what all to do so that things will be covered here okay without this please don't do lectures or plums and all because you will not clear by knowing the basics okay so please do this and then we will take forward the uh, plums okay and one important alert i am going to give to 2023 student the economic survey has come the budget has come the upsc notification also has come and our do or die final batches also come still if you are not serious still if you have not studied still you are finding it lazy like you are not waking up early you are not reading more than like one hour at a stretch then it is going to be very difficult for you okay so please start today and start now okay this moment when you see this video plan something make a timetable decide what you will do tomorrow and just do it okay because all who did that consistently are the ones who are going to clear this upsc okay so we'll do the mcqs all the teachers are doing hard work for you and every day nine o'clock this is coming and it will continue also and lectures are also here but like i told first whatsapp me get the foundation after foundation you can watch the lectures okay so science and tech question number one nilgiri udegiri taragiri okay it's actually udegiri taragiri seen in news are what okay meaning what it uh, what are the uh, these are names of something which is there in india so are these uh, diesel electric submarines under project 75 or uh, stealth frigates under project 17a guided missile destroyers under project 15 or anti-submarine warships under project 28 so this is also is a learning for you like what each project does and uh, upsc can ask detailed questions and they have this uh, typical way of naming maybe the name of some mountains or name of some islands in lakshadweep like that they give names okay so you have to know all of this you have to have a list actually where you maintain all these things and it is important for all the upcoming prelims maybe 23 24 25 we can't say when they'll pick it up because this project is not like a one-time project they'll be building maybe six uh, frigates under that or maybe 10 destroyers under that so every year one one uh, thing will come and each time it comes it will again come in the news okay so here the answer is these three representing Answer B, stealth frigates under project 17A. And this is news because this uh, Taragiri, the third one in the series, has been commissioned. Okay, so news if you see recently, uh, the shipbuilders, which is under Ministry of uh, Defense, launched Taragiri, the third stealth frigate of project 17A. Okay, so this was when it was launched by Navy in 2019 to do this, uh, to make this stealth uh, guided missile frigates. And uh, they are con currently being constructed by two companies. One is this Mazgon and one is this uh, Garden uh, Research Shipbuilders. Okay, like in uh, Cochin, we have in uh, Goa, we have in Vishakhapatnam, we have everywhere we have shipbuilding industries or units. Uh, that is where we make this. Okay, so this... Uh, First one, if you see that Nilgiri was in 2019, they launched it. Then second uh, in 22 May, uh, they have launched it. Okay, Udyagiri. And now the third one, they have launched it. Okay, in around uh, November time, they have launched the third one. Okay, so that is why. And then remaining details, okay, which UPC usually won't ask. But for your knowledge, you have to know like how much percentage of Indian element is there or whether it's fully Indian. We have imported something or is it indigenous? Such things, you can read it here. And then extra thing which you they can ask is this Taragiri is what? It's actually a hill range in the Himalayas located in Garhwal region okay so where is garwal go and try to find out that's also a map based uh, important learning you have to know so this uh, again little bit details are here like what it will be fitted with like supersonic surface to surface missile system like at all these uh, things okay the sensors and all they usually don't ask but because it's covered in the hindu newspaper we are giving you little information okay so that it get registered in your mind when you read this in the next time now question number two which are the following pair of drugs are matched correctly so medicines were there in news and uh, since the time of covid you know these kind of things are also being asked by upsc okay so these things are three match the following and i have put it in upsc format like one pair only two pair only three pairs or none of the pairs meaning how many pairs are correct they don't ask you like which pair is correct and all how many pairs are correct are all the three correct because there's a new way of uh, framing questions they made in 2022 so we are also including that in our test series so as i told you who are watching plums may see five questions only but those who are buying the test series will see will see hundreds of questions like this okay with pdf with explanation everything you will get so please see to it that if you are a 23 batch you are already enrolled to our batch and you are having the pdf with you okay so here the answer will be 
99% of the time, all these things will be true only whenever you pay because they don't want to trouble you with these kind of things because there's no way to buy heart these meaning understand this. Okay, you have to only buy heart only. You cannot remember like, okay, this word is similar to hepatitis that you can't do. You have to simply purely buy heart and whenever buy hearting thing comes, UPSC usually will give all the above only. Okay, so here again, the health minister, okay, he has recently released the revised national list of essential medicines 2022. Okay, so in which uh, revised means it can delete or add. So it has deleted 26 drugs and included something else. So this, if you see gastro intestinal medicines, two names are given here. Then again, 384 drugs are made part of it and it's categorized in these many categories. And so these, this is what I picked the question from. Four drugs that are still under patent has been included in the list. They are this one and this one is in for tuberculosis and this one for uh, this one, HIV. And this uh, last one is for hepatitis C. So this because it's uh, specially given in the newspaper Hindu, we have taken it and made a question. Okay. So again, uh, what happens if it deleted and what happens if the disease is no longer a national burden like that, how they delete or how they add that some features are given here. Okay. So this you can read. Now, if you see national list of essential medicine was compiled for the first time when in 1996. Okay. This also you can ask. It was revised thrice since then that is in 2003, 2011, 2015. Okay, now 2022 again it has revised. So the drugs in the this list are included in the schedule category and their price is regulated by this National Pharmaceutical Pricing Authority. This also you can ask who will regulate the prices of the medicines inside this. Okay, so this is again a Hindu article. Now question number three. Sova virus seen in news refers to, okay, all these are from October, November range current affairs, okay, so it's very, very important for the upcoming prelims. So it's a zoonotic virus or an avian flu or a trojan virus or, or none of these. So anyway, with the name virus, it can have any meaning. It can be an animal born virus or a bird born virus or any animal disease or it can be the digital trojan virus also. So that is why we just put it to see whether well, UPSC also checks this only. They don't ask you the details of Sova virus. They will ask you what is it related to or what is it referring to. Okay. So that means they are expecting you to read every word very clearly. Okay. So here answer is. C, that is it's a Trojan virus, it's a digital thing actually in uh, banking related if you see a novi, uh, sorry, a novel mobile banking Trojan virus that is currently targeting Indian customers. It is capable of stealthily encrypting an Android phone for ransom. Okay, it can add false overlays to a range of apps and mimic over 200 banking and payment applications to con the, meaning to fool or cheat the uh, uh, Android users. Okay. So again, little bit details are given what it can do and how it will do. That and all is not important for you. You have to know that this kind of one Trojan is there. And this in your GS3 paper, cyber security topic and all, this can be used to okay, an example and all. Like latest example, if you pick and write, they will be impressed with you that you know the latest current affairs, the latest virus which is targeting Indian audience. So that way you have to note it down. So when you make notes also in your GS3, you should have a separate journal. And how to make notes, I have made a separate video, watch that. And you have to have under that cyber security, subheading should be there. Under cyber security, malware ransom should be there. Under that, this should be there. Like that, that classification, who does the best? They will be the one who will clear the UPSC. Okay. And don't depend on this copy-pasted notes from here and there. So, question number four. Which of the following are true about international treaty on plant genetic resources for food and agriculture? So this is a very uh, new treaty and it's very important also. So that is why I am framed a question. A uh, question can come this year or next year. It is a legally binding agreement. It was signed during the session of Stockholm Convention in Geneva. India is not a member or party to this treaty. It was created in lines with the Convention on Biological Diversity CBD. So here options are 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 3 or 1, 4. Okay, so again, very, very important, little difficult way I phrase this question also, because uh, usually in uh, the world, when there are agreements or treaties, right, it uh, will not be legally binding. Okay, because legally binding means you have to follow that. If you don't follow, then you will have to pay some penalty or you will have some punishment. So legally binding, very, very less, maybe 10 to 15, uh, uh, you will get which are legally binding. Okay, overall, I'm telling from the time United Nations and everybody has formed, they have not made legally binding that many agreements. So... Uh, you will also think like it is wrong. But here in this case, the answer here, it is D that is one four only, meaning it is actually a legally binding agreement. And that makes it more important for you to study. Okay. And another thing, India is not a member is wrong. India is actually a member. Okay. India is actually a member. So that is why three is wrong. Okay. That if you knew you could eliminate these three and you get the answer. That is what you is expecting from you. Because whatever India is a member, you should ideally know if India has signed a treaty that to a legally binding agreement, you should have known. Okay. So now uh, one and four. So that means two is also wrong because it is not signed during this one. I'll show you. It is a FAO convention and it is in line with the CBD. Okay. So about CBD, its history and all that also you have to study in our environment uh, test and all. I've given a lot of explanation. So it is a legally binding multilateral agreement signed during the 31st session of the UN FAO in Rome in 2001. Uh, it took effect in 2004. It currently has 149 contracting parties, including India. Okay, so it's a, not a new thing, but it's in news now. Okay, so it was created in line with CBD. Now, 
United, uh, sorry, Union Minister of Agriculture recently inaugurated the ninth session of the governing body of this particular treaty. Okay, so which is held in New Delhi. So it happened in India, and that is why it is in news. So again, the little bit uh, detailing like what is the governing body and when it happened last time, and because of COVID, it was postponed. Such is history and its theme, everything is given. This and all, 99% they won't ask you because it's very difficult to remember the theme of every single treaty and meetings which happen. But because it happened in India, India is a part of it. It's a legally binding agreement, and it is based on this uh, CBD. This kind of basic things you have to know. Okay, and its origin is in the FAO Convention. So, this kind of basic things alone you have to know and that we have covered. Okay. Now, question number five. The lacus somniorum seen in the news closely relates to. So, this name when you see itself, what all things can come to your mind? Everything will be there in the options also. Milk bacterium, pest attacks on rabi crops, lunar equator, climate prediction tool. Okay. So, this unless you have done the current affair properly, read a proper newspaper or solved a proper current affair like Vaisha is, you cannot solve this. Okay. Because guesswork won't work because they will make the options in such a way that everything will look true. Okay, so there, if you do blunder, you will get minus 0.66. Okay, minus 0.66 or if you do it or if you meaning you ignore it or skip it because you never heard of it, that's a good choice. Okay, so that time it will be zero. There's no plus, there's no minus. But if you make it correct, if you are a student who did proper test series, then you will know that it is a lunar equator. Okay, and it is uh, something related to the uh, Middle East. Okay, so if you see UAE is to launch this Rashid rover aboard a Falcon 9 SpaceX rocket. It uh, will be launched from this uh, center in Florida and the rover would reach the lunar surface aboard this Hakuto or Land of Japan. So there are many countries involved in just launching this one particular thing and it is if it is successful UAE and Japan will rank among US, Russia, China as the only countries to land a spacecraft on the lunar surface. So there is a destination there in the lunar equator. There is a lake of um, dreams which is this uh, name Lacus Somniorum that is why it is in news. Okay. UPC will pick up this only, these kind of things, and they'll ask what is it related to. They will not ask you the full history of this place. Okay. So, again, what that rover will do, how much weight it can carry, and how its funding is there, and what is Dubai's future plans, all these things. Okay. Earlier, UAE launched the HOPE mission to Mars, the Arab's first interplanetary mission. Okay. So, this and all, please read. And this was, as I told, Japanese uh, thing. And it's there in the Indian Express. So, these are the five questions for today. And as I told, if you are a serious aspirant, 2023 especially, you have to do everything as we tell, okay, in the foundation, in the test series, in the videos which we do, everything, okay, because 90% of the content we are giving free on the internet itself, on YouTube itself, remaining is for your practice. And more you practice, more there are chances that you clear the prelims, okay. But if you are 2024, 25 and all, don't join now because I will keep making questions again and that you can buy the final bundle instead of buying this partially now and partially that time. It is better to enroll when it is time for you to prepare. Till then, you do our foundation and test series and all and like this the whole coverage i think nobody in this country is giving this much uh, elaborate test series with this much subjects and this much mcqs with detailed explanation okay nobody will do and this is unlimited pdf unlimited validity pdf so you can use it again and again also in case you fail so these are the different different small packages which uh, because prelims is nearing we have categorized uh, different different uh, things and if you can buy this okay like this current affair and all whichever batch you are if you buy it will not go in waste because next year also it will be equally important science and tech alone if you want 500 mcqs with explanation like the example I showed you, uh, you will get. Okay, and older also it's there because maybe for mains and all you need a little bit older current affairs that also is available. So whatever you want, just WhatsApp me and you can enroll. So tomorrow the next episode will come. Thank you and have a nice day.